Now, if you saw this on a kid, it would be a kid's dress, but when I look at it, I see Sister Jane. <laughs> and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be quite a fun one, so it's going to be me testing out clothes from the kids section, specifically at River Island. Now I do have some reasons for doing this, uh, quite often I do shop in the kids section for shoes, I've got quite small feet and so I'm often shopping in the kids section for shoes. So the other day when I was looking on River Island I was looking for some boots and I just thought why don't I try out the kids section for clothes? I noticed that they had like a teen section, I think it's like from ages 5 to 16 and I thought I might fit into some of these clothes so I had a little look at the size guide and I was like I'll definitely fit them height wise um, so let's give it a go. So yes, today's video is going to be me trying out these kids clothes. Um, I'm actually going to take it quite seriously because I've picked up clothes that I actually really like the look of. So I'm really hoping they fit nice because I've actually got some really cute items that I think you're going to like. Um, but I thought it's just going to be a bit of fun as well, see how the clothes fit. Um, but yeah, let's see if it's going to be a success or a fail. So I'm going to get straight into the video, but if you are new to my channel, then hi, my name is Molly and I post fashion videos every single Wednesday and on Sundays at 8 o'clock. And I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Also, if you enjoy outfit inspiration in general, then do head over to my Instagram where I post daily. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, one thing to note before I start trying on these clothes, I've said a million times in my channel before and most of you probably already know but I am around 5 foot 1, 5 foot 2 and I'm a, usually a UK size 4. So I actually picked up these clothes in a couple of different sizes um, just because I wasn't really sure on the sizing of kids clothes. When I looked at the size guide there was a size guide for height and there was also one for waist size so obviously um, children don't really have waists like us women do. Um, so what I did was bought clothes that would fit my usual height um, in terms of centimetres and I also bought the clothes that would fit my waist size in terms of inches. Um, so I have two different sizes for a couple of these items and I'm just going to hold them up, see which one looks like it would fit better and try that one on for you. Okay, so the first dress that I have to show you is this really, really beautiful little one. It really reminds me of kind of Blair Waldorf with this black and white kind of floral style. I just really love the white edging round it. Um, I love the style with the tie waist. Um, so I actually got this dress in two sizes. I got this one in a 15 to, size 15 to 16. Um, and I think that is for a person that is 168 centimetres tall and I think that works out around 5 foot 5 so I think that this dress is going to be a little bit big on me just by holding it up like this. So I also got it in another size which is just 11 years old which is 146 centimetres. Now at 5 foot 2, 5 foot 1 I think I'm around 155 centimetres so this might be a tiny bit short but I think it's going to fit better than the other one so I'll try this one on first and if it doesn't fit then I'll try on the other one. Um, just before we start this dress it was £25 which is really really cheap, you can't get dresses in adult size for that cheap so if this dress fits then it's an absolute winner so yeah let's get it on. So here is the first dress on and I've got to say I actually really really like it. Um, for me the length of it is actually perfect, I tend to go for skirts that are around this length, all my mini, mini skirts are around this length so I'm quite comfortable with the length. I do have it on in the 11 years old uh, size um, and I would say that it fits quite nice. The only thing that I would say is that I feel like the waist is a little bit high up so I've had to kind of pull the tie down a little bit but I don't think that it looks bad at all. I certainly don't think it looks like it's from the kids section. I do think it's actually really quite classy and elegant. I really, really like this kind of scallop detailing at the bottom. Um, it's super comfortable. I love the collar here. Um, so yeah, I do think this dress is like a success and for £25 I think that is such a steal. So yeah, I might end up keeping this dress, you know. I feel quite pretty in it. So I thought I'd just try on the size 15 to 16 year old's dress, uh, just so that you could see for size. Um, as you can see, it is quite big on me. Um, the waist is actually now lower. Um, it kind of fits around my hips and it's quite baggy. There's a lot of room around the bust area, the waist area and the hip area. So I think that this dress would fit up to a size 8 to 10 in like women's size. So I do think the kids section can fit a few sizes of uh, clothing. Um, 
which is really good actually because you can get cheaper clothing and it's actually really pretty uh, but yeah I do prefer the fit of the smaller size um, just the length and everything it's it's just it just feels quite big on me um, but yeah I just thought it might be interesting to see what the bigger size looks like on so here are the next couple of items that I have I'm absolutely in love with this outfit as well I think it's so so cute feels very kind of 60s inspired but it still does not look like it comes from the kids section so I have on this really really pretty little roll neck um, with the kind of gold button sleeves it has got kind of like a cable knit detail on here as well and I am wearing this in a size 11 to 12 and I've got it on with this really pretty little skirt there's no zip on this skirt it is purely just like a stretchy skirt um, and I have this on in an 11 to 12 as well and as you can see it fits quite nice around the waist um, I've got some room in there the elastic isn't pulling tight I really really like the length again this is probably where I wear all my mini skirts if I bend over it's still not it's not that short um, but I did buy it in a size 13 to 14 as well um, just to test out the size and I can tell by the waist just by holding it up that it would be quite big on me so yeah uh, I feel like the 11 to 12 is probably my size in kids size which is absolutely insane um, but yeah I feel like the 13 to 14 will probably fit like a 6 to 8 and then the 15 to 16 will probably fit like an 8 to 10 um, but this skirt was really cheap I think so the, the skirt was £22 now if you were to get a skirt like this from like Zara or River Island I feel like it would literally be double the price um, so £22 is such a bargain for a skirt and the top as well was £22 so overall a quite affordable outfit I also got a 20% off discount code because I'm crafty like that um, but yeah I'm actually really impressed with this outfit I think it looks really really pretty um, and it looks quite sophisticated as well I just I just really really like it I'm really impressed so far so just whilst I had on the little roll neck and skirt I thought I would try on this little chile um, I've been after a little gilet like this for a little while. I've seen one on ASOS, I think, or it might have been River Island actually in the normal section. Um, and I really wanted to buy it, but I wasn't really sure if it would suit me or not and how, how often I would wear it. Um, but when I saw this in the kids section, I was like, oh, I'm going to pick it up, just give it a go. Um, so it is this really nice little kind of white sleeveless jacket, so kind of like a gilet with the kind of lapels here and the tie waist. Um, in terms of sizing, I would say that this probably is a little bit too small on me. Um, although I like the length, I think the length is quite nice. I do think that I would possibly need the size up. I got it in a size 11 to 12, but I think it was purely because that was the only size left on the website. Uh, otherwise, I probably would have bought it in a couple of different sizes. Um, but I really like the material. I like the back. Um, this little flap at the back. I'll just kind of undo it as well, see what it looks like undone, because I feel like it might fit me better if I do that, sometimes that works. Uh, I do think it looks really flattering with the, kind of fits the silhouette really nicely, so I do really like it. I might actually buy the size up just to see how it fits. Um, let me take it off just so I can see the price. Uh, so it was £25, which is again really, really affordable for something like that. Um, something that you can just chuck on over quite a few different outfits and it is in a bright white colour which is really hard to come by um, so yeah a really nice little gilet as well okay so I've again kept the little pink roll neck on just so that I could show you this little skirt um, I didn't buy it in the size 11 to 12 I only have it in the size 13 to 14 and this is for someone who is 158 centimetres tall so probably only a few inches taller than what I am because um, I'm probably around 155 but it's just the waist that doesn't fit. Um, as I say, children don't have waists like women do. Women have much smaller waists in general. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's quite big around the waist. It just keeps dropping down, especially because it doesn't have a zip. So all the way around, you can just see that it's elastic material. But I'm, I'm quite impressed by the quality. Although it's quite a thin boucle, it's not really see-through at all, which is really, really good. And I probably would have kept this skirt had it been in my size. I do really, really like it. I don't think it looks like it's from the kids' section. I would definitely wear this to kind of work or something like that. A nice pair of black tights and black roll neck. I think that could look really, really chic. 
a really nice one to pick, kind of pick up because it was only £22 as well, which is super affordable. Um, so yeah, oh my gosh, I'm so impressed with how this haul is going so far. I was just not expecting things to be this nice. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this little skirt. I just wish it fit. So annoying. Okay, so something a little bit more different for me. I've actually got on these little kind of culotte style trousers. I love these. I think these are going to be perfect for summer. They are in a bright white colour. They've got a lovely tie waist um, and they fit perfectly like honestly perfectly I got them in a size 11 to 12 and look at the length on them they come just to my ankle which is where I need them to be and um, they're going to look really nice with a little pair of sandals um, but for now I've just popped it on with this little top now have I got some news to share with you so this top actually came out in the main like women's collection I think it was like a couple of years ago, I actually bought it in a pink colour and I remember paying around £36 for that top, which is quite expensive. Yeah, considering it's not like um, made out of like wool or anything like that, it's literally just a little kind of polyester polo um, in this kind of black and white. I love the pearly buttons, um, but this top is only £20 in the kids section. How? How? It literally... This top is a size 11 to 12, so it would be around a size 4 to 6. And so if you were to get the size 15 to 16, that would fit up to an 8 to 10. So they can't say it's about like the, the, the amount of material or anything. So that is just insane that they're charging nearly double for the same top. Like it literally is the same top. Um, I don't know if it's like kids clothes don't have tax on them or something but I just cannot believe it and I would definitely go into the kids section for tops like this now I do think it's really pretty I'm not sure about the pairing but the top is really really pretty um, as I say 20 pounds 20 pounds and it's so pretty um, I could wear this with a little black skirt and some black lacy tights and I think it would look so so sweet I'll try and insert a picture here or a video of my reel that I did in the pink version of the top um, that I actually think came up a little bit smaller. I remember it kind of pulling on the boob area. Um, but the culottes were... So the culottes were also £20. So again, really, really affordable. Something like this would probably be around £30, £35 if you bought it in the women's collection. So definitely worth checking out the kids... Um, definitely worth checking out the kids section. I'm really, really impressed. I absolutely love these trousers. I think that they're gonna be absolutely perfect for summer. Um, just while I have them on as well, I wanted to show you some sandals that I picked up from the kids section. Obviously, I only have a small foot, I'm a size one or two, and I picked up these sandals in a size one, and you're gonna absolutely love them. So here are the sandals. I mean, how pretty are these sandals? They are just absolutely covered in pearls and these little beads, um, and there's actually quite a lot of like, pad in here so it's not like super thin it's not going to hurt your foot or anything so I'm just going to pop them on to see how they fit so these shoes are so super comfy they fit like an absolute dream I mean it's not a shock to me that they fit because as I say I do actually buy my shoes from the kids section quite often um, but they're really really pretty and they're actually really really comfortable like I'm sat here walking about but they don't feel like they're going to rub and they, the bottom of the shoe feels actually quite like nice on the foot. It doesn't feel like you can feel every little rock underneath the, on the pavement underneath your feet. Um, so yeah, I really recommend these. Um, I'm not sure what size the kids shoes go up to, um, but definitely worth checking out if you have got smaller feet. Um, so these shoes were £25 and I do think that these are cheaper than what you would get in the women's section um, and they're super cute as well. Sometimes you can't find like girly feminine pieces in the women's section so I think the kids section is a good one to look out for um, and I absolutely love all these little pearl details. It's so annoying that you can't see but you can see that they fit quite nice. So yeah, a really good find. <laughs> so again, I've just kept on the trousers and I took the other top off because it didn't really look right with the jacket. Um, so I've got no top and I've just, and I've just done the jacket up. Uh, but on, um, <laughs> obviously when I saw this on the website, I could not resist. I know I've got way too many yellow checked jackets, but this is so cute. How could I like resist it? And guys, this is 35 pounds. 35 pounds if you were to get this in the women's section it would be upwards of 50 pounds and it's it's so cute love the color i wish it came with a pair of matching shorts or a little skirt um i'm obviously not going to keep it because i do already have two yellow 
kind of cohorts like this but a great one to pick up if you were looking for something a little bit cheaper and you're on the smaller size I just wish I saw this one first I just I really really like it um I love the color I love the buttons I love the style very Chanel style um, and yeah it fits quite nice again in a size 11 to 12 um, I would say the arms are a little bit short um, I have to say maybe I need a 13 to 14 um, but I do like the fit around the waist I think if I went a size up it would be a bit boxier which I probably wouldn't like as much um, but yeah definitely really really cute and for £35 again it's just an absolute steal so here is the next item it's another dress and I'm pretty sure I saw a dress like this on ASOS the other day but it's not very fitted it just goes straight up and down um, with this kind of peplum at the bottom and the puff sleeves I do really like this dress um, it's maybe not 100% my style but do you know what I could see this like being sold on Sister Jane it's really good quality as you can see it's not see-through it's got this really nice kind of brocade material that's like no it's not it's like seersucker I think um but yeah it fit, fits really nice I like the length um it was 28 pounds so for like an occasion dress that is such a good price um so yeah it's not completely my style but if, it, if it's your style this is going to look amazing on you. It honestly is such a nice crisp white colour. Um, I think it would look really nice with a nice pearl headband. Um, or even belted. I'm going to try and belt it actually. Then maybe it would be more my style. Okay, so I had a look at the mirror. And I actually did like it unbelted. But I've just popped the belt on just now. And I just think it flatters me a little bit more. But I do really, really like this dress. I think it would look really, really nice for an occasion wear. Um, even in summer, just like to go out on picnics and things, I think that this would be so, so sweet. And for £28, you can't really go wrong, can you? I think if you were to buy this from the women's section, it would again be upwards of £50. Um, but I just, I love it. It's quite fairy-like and very Sister Jane. Maybe that's what drew me to it. Uh, but yeah, like, oh, how sweet is it? It just looks such good quality as well. But yeah, you'll have to let me know what you think. So guys, here is the next outfit and the reason why I'm holding my hand behind my back is because this is a size 15 to 16 and it absolutely is so big. Um, but I absolutely loved the look of this when I saw it on the website. It reminds me of the green Zara play suit that I have um, that I bought a couple of, um, about a year ago. Um, it has the same kind of um, v-neck with the white puff sleeves. Um, but this is in a yellow kind of like mango-y colour and I absolutely love this colour. I just adore yellow in spring summer and this is just so vibrant and so fun. Um, it's not really giving me like kids section vibes. Um, I mean if it was on a kid I would definitely, you could tell it's from a kid section but because it's on me I feel like it does look like the Zara ones and this could easily pass as something from the women's section. Um, so I have this in a size 15 to 16 and as I say it's really big and it was £38 which is, to be fair, that is more expensive than the Zara one because when the Zara one came out I think that was £30 um, but I do think that River Island's more expensive in general but as you can see it's quite big, um, the waist is quite low, it's actually on my hips which makes it quite unflattering, it gives me kind of like a boxy shape that does kind of look very childish. Um, but I absolutely love the colour and I would probably buy it in, I think I'd have to go down a few sizes, like a 9 to 10 maybe, um, just so that it fit a little bit better and higher up on the waist. Um, so I might actually give it a go because things like this are so my style, I absolutely love wearing them in spring, summer. I know it's very out there and it's not going to be for everybody but I really really like it, I just love the colour, it just makes me so happy and it's so hard to get things in this colour in the women's section, um, although I do feel like it's coming back into fashion, this kind of like yellow colour, it's definitely like in this season, so yeah, hopefully there'll be more items in this colour. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to know what you think, do you like this item, should I buy it in a smaller size, or yeah, is it a miss? Okay, here is the next dress that I have to show you, and this is just not doing it justice, obviously I've bought it in a size 15, 13 to 14, um, so it's a little bit big, um, and very long so it's not doing it any justice but I absolutely fell in love with the colour it's a, it's in this kind of cornflower blue shade I've mentioned on the, my channel a few times that this cornflower blue shade is very in this season and I'm loving it absolutely love this colour I think it's so classy and I don't think it's like going to be a trend I do think it's quite a classic colour so when I saw this dress I had to pick it up it looks very very Sandro it's giving me very Sandro vibes 
Um, so this dress was I think £28 which is really affordable. Um, obviously I probably would buy it in the 11 to 12 so it would fit better but I'm just going to quickly style it um, see if I can do something with it to make it look a little bit better so we can give it a little bit more of a chance because I do really really like the style um, I like the kind of buttons down the front and I love the colour and this kind of light boucle colour it's perfect for spring um, so give me two seconds to style it and I'll come back and show you okay so firstly all I've done is popped a belt round and kind of shoved the material up under the belt um, to give me a bit of a waist um, and to make the length a little bit better but as you can see I've got a lot of bunching at the back obviously this wouldn't happen in a dress that would fit you but um, I've got another idea to kind of hide the bunching but it's already looking better already if I do say so myself and ta-da I think I've actually styled it quite nice so all I've done is belted it as I say and I've popped on the little gilet from earlier and I do think this gilet goes perfectly with this little dress it goes perfectly with the little white detail and it's at the perfect length now now that I've shoved all the material up under the belt but all I've done is kind of tied it at the back so that it hides the ruching from the dress and it kind of gives me that really nice hourglass silhouette um, I think that the sleeves co come out perfectly underneath the gilet um, given this kind of puff sleeve look but yeah I actually really like this look now that I've kind of styled it properly but obviously I probably would buy the dress in a smaller size um, but yeah I think it gives the dress more of a chance um, and definitely doesn't look like a kid's horrible dress now it looks like a really nice stylish Sandro dress in my opinion um, but yeah let me know too what you think of the dress and the gilet to the outfit as a whole I would love to know um, I really really like it I love how it turned out just again it's just a little bit too big which is really really strange I just can't believe that the sizing is, is, is that big compared to like women's sizing um, so strange but not a bad thing because then us petite ladies can shop in the kids section. Okay, so I also p picked up a pair of trainers from the kids section um, and I got these in a size one and the reason I picked them up is because they really, really remind me of the trainers that Chloe bought out. Um, they're so, so similar. They're in this really beautiful kind of nude beige shade with the lace detailing. Um, I absolutely love the colour and I love the lace and I think it'd look really really nice with a pair of like those little frilly socks, um, like white frilly socks, I think that would look so cute with these. Um, they were £25 so again quite affordable for a pair of trainers and yeah they're just like that little bit different, a comfy shoe that actually looks quite pretty. Um, I do like the Chloe trainers but I, would, I wouldn't wear them enough to justify spending that amount of money on them so these are perfect due. Okay last but certainly not least I have this little dress. This is actually the whole reason why I placed this order. Um, I sent a picture on like uh, just like the River Island website of a little girl wearing this dress and I thought that is gorgeous. <laughs> um, it's this really really beautiful kind of again in that kind of cornflower blue uh, type of colour with these really pretty sparkles all over it and the mesh puff sleeves um, with this really pretty little satin black bow in the middle of it. Now if you saw this on a kid it would be a kid's dress but when I look at it I see Sister Jane. <laughs> I think that this could totally pass as a Sister Jane dress and I'm absolutely in love with it. I've got it in a size 11 to 12 um, and again this this dress was quite expensive it was the most expensive piece out of all of these items it was 50 pounds um, but again not a bad price for the dress that like the type of dress that it is the amount of detail that is in it um, it's again like an occasion dress and I just absolutely love it I think with a little pair of black heels um, a little black headband it would look so so cute and so Blair um, but yeah, I'm absolutely in love with it and I'm so, so tempted to keep it. Like, what do you think? Like, look at that glitter. It's, oh, it is just beyond beautiful. I love the length. It's not too short. Um, it's fully lined underneath, so it's not that itchy. I mean, it's a little bit itchy on the sleeves, but nothing that I can't deal with. Um, the sleeves are probably a little bit too short. Uh, they are kind of riding up a bit, but I don't really mind that. I think you can probably pull them up a bit and have them kind of like three-quarter length sleeves as well so that doesn't really bother me that much but as I say really really cute and really really unusual and definitely reminds me of, of Sister Jane 
Um, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with it. I, I love how it turned out. Um, but yeah, this is the final item of the video. But I think that this haul has kind of shown that you don't even have to be petite to shop in the kids section. I mean, at 168 centimetres, or was that, yeah, 168? That's around 5 foot 5, so that's not even petite, so definitely worth checking out. Um, obviously, if you're more curvy, these items probably won't fit you. I mean, I've, I've barely got a uh, bust at all, but again, just buy the size up and I think it will fit you. I think definitely go buy... Uh, the waist size and the chest size rather than the height um, because as I say I am 5 foot 2 and I'm wearing everything in a size 11 to 12 which is for around 4 foot 9 I think um, but it fits really nice because of the waist size um, so yeah just one to watch out for if you like any of these items everything will be linked in the description box down below so just if you're interested um, but yeah, I don't want to take this off, it's so cute. So there you go, that is the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun trying on these kids' clothes. I feel like we actually found some really nice items. And yeah, I'll definitely be trying out the kids' section more often, I think. And let me know if you would like me to test out some other kids' clothing from different brands like Zara or H&M. But yeah, that is the end of this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.